the one we call Canadian. Canadian. You know what the best thing is about Canada Day? Canada Night. The Molson Canadian Big Birthday. Come celebrate a live nationwide explosion of fireworks and great Canadian music July 1st. Details at IM.ca. Must be legal drinking age. the technology, whether it's on the page or whether it's on screen, to me it's always been about the story. There's a strange idea that books are elitist, totally untrue. Books are about ideas and ideas belong to everybody. If you've really done your homework and you've really done your research, by the time you sit them down for an interview in that chair, you've got to believe that they owe you an answer. Guest conductor's first choice. Join the fun for a night of celebration from high on Parliament Hill as CBC brings home Canadian superstar Alanis Morissette, Barrage, Ashley McIsaac, Prairie Oyster, astronaut Chris Hadfield, and many more. The Canada Day Gala. Don't miss The Thrill on the Hill tonight at 9 on CBC Television. Brought to you in part by Chicken Farmers of Canada. Is this a joke? No. It's not? No. Are you for real? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Really? No. Um, really? <laughs> 2001. It's a joke, isn't it? No. It's a joke. <laughs> it's not. It's not a, why would you say that? big news story this week is that Chief Gordon Lightfoot, Canada's native chief, is reasserting his people's treaty rights to hunt rhinoceros in northern Saskatchewan. The question is, should Canada honor its treaty with uh, Chief Gordon Lightfoot? I mean, we did sign the treaty about 150 years ago. Of course. I just don't think you should abuse it right. and, you know, put a, an animal to extinction. Well, if it's a managed rhinoceros hunt, do you think it'd be okay? Yeah, I, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Well, if it's not going to deplete the herd, and if they're going to die and get stuck in streams like elk do out in Colorado, where I'm from, then kill them. I still say no. Yeah? Uh-huh. Save the rhinoceros? <laughs> yes, they're okay. cute. As you know, in the States, they're going to bring back the dollar coin. Now, in Canada, we've had a dollar coin for about seven years. About two years ago, we brought in a $2 coin, and now we're introducing a $5 coin. Our $1 coin is called the Looney. The $2 coin is called the Toonie. Now we're about to introduce the $5 coin. It has a maple leaf on it and a wooden texture, so people have taken to calling this coin the Woody. Congratulations, Canada, on getting your first Woody. We're doing a story on the fact the Canadian government has decided to do away with the Union Jack. We're actually going to have our own flag now. 
We're pretty excited about that. And there's a couple of designs. One is kind of a hockey puck, a moose head, a flag with a fish, and another one is a maple leaf. What do you think? I would say the hockey puck. You go with the hockey puck? Yeah, Canada and hockey. Moose head. The hockey puck. I have to say the hockey puck. I, I think the hockey puck might work, though. Yeah? Of course, the hockey puck. I mean, that's what y'all are known for, isn't it? Well, here we are on location at NAPTI. Now, this is where all the big TV companies come and they uh, basically sell their TV shows and uh, give away lots of food. If you look over here, you see a company called Claster TV, and they got a, a full bar there, and the food is all free. You're watching Jean Chrétien on Bumbling Through What? Jean Chrétien, who is the mayor of Burlington, Ontario, is a big fan of Baywatch, and in fact, has declared Baywatch Days again this year. Thank you, Jean Chrétien, for declaring Baywatch Days. You're watching Jean Chrétien. So your show is called The Perfect Ten? We have a game show that's called Perfect Ten. We also have a magazine and a video. So you're a ten? A ten. What are you in metric? You're watching Jean Chrétien on Channel 22, bumbling through my feet. No, no, it's not. Jean Trechen's Bumbling Adventures. Well, it's your name. Look at this, this boot. Percy Warner's boot, just on the floor. Now, we'll just take a look at it. Just look at the size of it. It's two stories. It shows lovely. It's got a, it's got a balcony up there. It's got a balcony up there. Look at this. This is all a boot. This is, look, look. Little boardrooms there where I guess they would uh, buy and sell their TV shows. I'd like a uh, uh, Heineken, it'd be great. Could the cameraman have a beer, too? <laughs> what do you think of Jean Chrétien? Hey. So all the Canadian producers of television and movies and stuff, they're all in this little tent city here. And uh, each one has an identical little blue hut. You see that? So it's Canadian and kind of looks like public housing in the north or something. <laughs> Can I get a uh, moose head, please? Pardon? Can I get a moose head, please? Yes, I will see if she... <laughs> I think she's going to see if there's a program called Moose Head. <laughs> and the Canadian food spread is over here, and you can just imagine what that's going to be like. Nova Scotia smoked salmon, mussels from Newfoundland, pork from Ontario, Oka cheese, perhaps, from Quebec, fresh salmon from the West Coast. I can just imagine. And here we have it. It's, uh, there's, um... Lettuce. The mayor of Burlington in Canada, Jean Chrétien, has declared Springer Days. Thank you, Jean Chrétien, for declaring Springer Days this summer, and maybe you'll declare Summer Days this spring. It's great to talk to you. Okay, thanks very much. You do a great show. We're big fans in Canada. Thank you. recently revealed that 70% of grade 7 students in Canada couldn't find their state on an unmarked map and also couldn't name their congressman. Do you think this indicates that there's a crisis in our education system in Canada? I think that that would definitely indicate a crisis. That's pretty sad, yeah. Yeah? What about yourself? Yeah, I think it's disgraceful that people are, are that unaware of the world that they live in. Home state in Canada, there's mm -hmm. really not that many of them, correct? No. There's, there's like... 11. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely a problem. Congratulations, Canada, on allowing dogs as house pets. The plans have raised enough money to buy a few acres of rainforest land, and that helps to save the rainforest little by little. So, uh, I've got a message to Prime Minister Guy Lafleur. There in Montreal. To Prime Minister Guy Lafleur, Montreal, Canada. Whereas the Labrador mammoth elephant is threatened by Labrador's unregulated urban sprawl. We respectfully ask that the government of Canada designate Labrador's woolly elephant an endangered species. It's a great thing to do. All right, sounds good. Thank you. So you're trying to buy acres of rainforest? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not a scam, is it? <laughs> a recent survey in Canada showed that 70% of grade 7 students couldn't find their home state on an unmarked map. Do you believe that this shows that there's a crisis in Canada's public education system? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I Hang do. on. Canada has provinces. The number one killer in Canada is still frostbite. Because of the state-run Medicare, people should get can't get the latest frost cream. 
Do you think hospitals should be privatized so people can have access to the frost cream they need? Yeah, that's good. That's good, right? That's really good. Tragically, the number one killer in Canada is still frostbite. Yeah. Can't get a seat on the next space shuttle? Want to teach your computer to talk? I like it. Unlock the secrets of the CBC for Kids website. Get interactive, play games, enter contests, try a quiz, or just chat with other kids. That's unbelievable. Discover weird news from the world of science, or how about creating your own newscast? From money sense on banking to the cutest pet con. Find out the answers to questions you have and sign on with cbcforkids.ca. When people start their day, they want to be informed. People want the news, that's why they're tuning in, but they don't want just any news. We ask the question, does this story matter to Canadians? And the answer has to be yes. We have a lot of fun, it's very spontaneous. You've got to be yourself. You just can't fake it that early in the morning. Unforgettable. Campino. That's what you are. Unforgettable. Though near or far. Campino. Discover the taste you'll never forget. Doesn't understand that rules are for everybody. Refuses to color inside the lines. Just a little too independent-minded sometimes. Doesn't understand rules. Does not respect authority. It's true. Everything I know I did learn in kindergarten. This is my car. Motor Trends Car of the Year, the PT Cruiser, from Chrysler. Hey, Roger. Phil, did you download that surf video I emailed you? I did indeed. It was most instructional. Here, watch. Talk and surf at the same time. Nice. DSL high-speed internet service from MTS lets you talk and surf at the same time, so there's no need for a second phone line. It's high-speed access from $35.95 a month. It's just one of the many services from MTS. Did you download this section on sharks? No. Why? Save with incredible clearance specials throughout the store. It's the world's greatest garage sale. Save on appliances and home electronics. Plus, save up to 70% on clearance home furnishings during the world's greatest garage sale. Now through Holiday Monday, come home to the brick. National brand name furniture and mattresses at major savings. United Furniture Warehouse. 2% of all sales donated to Welcome Home. Changing lives. Who are you? Anne of Green Gables. Forever a Canadian classic. Megan Follows is Anne of Green Gables. Nobody's ever loved me for as long as I can remember. Part 1 next Sunday on CBC. I'm Ian Hanneman sitting in Vancouver Monday on Canada Now. Of course, the day's national and international news. A look at famous Canadian inventions plus this country's last wild buffalo herd. Talking to Americans is brought to you by Molson Canadian. I am Canadian.